Time for a new twist to the season. Here comes the Champions League. Welcome to Galaxy All Access. Joe Tutino coming to you from the Home Depot Center today. Thursday night, the Galaxy Open Champions League action in group play facing Isidro Metapon of El Salvador. It's the first of uh, three home games in group play for the Galaxy. There'll also be an MLS action over the weekend hosting FC Dallas on Sunday. Tickets to both matches Thursday and Sunday can be purchased at LAGalaxy.com. In MLS action, the Galaxy are coming off a hard-fought 1-1 draw on the road at Columbus. Robbie Keane picked up his 11th goal, tying things up for the Galaxy and earning a point away from home, and that's not bad. Currently, the Galaxy are in fourth place in the Western Conference, 37 points on a record of 11, 11, and 4. Defensively, the Galaxy are beginning to look like their former selves. The back four of Franklin, Gonzalez, De La Garza, and Dunavent have returned, and recently things have begun to settle down defensively. And joining me today is one of those players from that back four. In fact, the center back, A.J. De La Garza, I could have said right back. I could say center back, sometimes left back. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thank you. Let's talk a little about, first of all, the game at Columbus because uh, I think uh, emotionally you guys had to go into a situation for them as their first game back after the loss of Kirk Urso. And uh, it was I'm sure that also played on you guys a bit. Yeah, we had some, some guys on our team who yeah. were pretty close with Kirk. Uh, lived with them in, in high school. Uh, over in Bradenton. I think it was Tommy Meyer, and I think also uh, Omar. Michael Stevens knew him as well, Omar as well. Omar went to residency with him, so, you know, everyone was hurt by the, the entire league, uh, all the players, no matter if you knew him or not, just, you know, he, he's a player in our league, and for someone that, to pass so young is heartening. Uh, just a shock, yeah. uh, absolutely, but uh, just reading the quotes and some of the stories that have been written recently, I get the feeling there is uh, this collective sigh of relief that all you guys are back together, the back four, or maybe we're making too much about it on the websites and in the stories that are written and maybe on the broadcast. Uh, do you guys feel a, a little sense of relief that you guys are back together? Uh, I mean, we're back literally. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we still have some work to do, um, getting used to playing each other again. Um, you know, we had a, a good game in Chivas. And, uh, you know, in, Col in Columbus, I think everyone was a little bit tired, a little bit sluggish. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, with the whole emotional thing with Kirk sure. and then the travel, 12-day uh, travel day, 12-hour travel day uh, didn't help. That's always a fun trip. Yeah, so uh, I think you saw a very sluggish team kind of uh, come out until we got scored on. And then w once that happened, we kind of, you know, took over and, and had a few chances of our own. I thought you guys had a chance to win the game at the end. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Brian Gall's header seemed to be on target. Uh, I thought Sean Franklin's ball was actually headed towards goal and that was cleared out, by, I believe, by their right back, Miranda. Uh, off, not off the line, but close to the line. But it looked like the goalkeeper was beaten. So at the end of the game, I thought you guys had the best better of the play. Yeah, uh, I thought we did well in the second half. I think Josh really saved us in the first half. Uh, and, and the post maybe once or twice uh, also. He just gave the ball away in bad spots and they were able to counter on us. Uh, and then the one time they hit the, the post off a corner. Mm -hmm. um, just got to do a little bit better on those. Yeah, went, hey, listen, the posts are the goalkeeper's best friend for a reason, right? Yeah. Certainly you guys all gave an, a great effort in the start of the season, but defensively it just wasn't working. The goals have been piling up, and offensively you guys also had your own skid from time to time. But uh, talking about from a defensive standpoint, a lot is made of the fact that Omar has been gone for the, for the, the distance uh, of time that we've had here, and now he's back, and there's this perception that everything's okay now. Can you clarify that or give me your opinion of what wasn't working and what might be working now? Well, I think we had the same kind of defense the last three years uh, until this year when Omar, who was out, obviously a big player on our team, on our back line, um, to add someone new takes a little bit of time. Uh, it happened so late in preseason or in the off season right. where it was January, yeah, yeah, right before the draft, and then you know they're having to draft center backs and, and pick up center backs, so. Um, you know, it was a little bit of pressure, so uh, you know, I, th I thought we did the best we could with it. Everyone thinks it was just Omar. Omar's not in there, so that's why we were having trouble. Sure. But I think it was our own personal play, uh, our own accountability. I wasn't playing well. Other players weren't weren't doing their jobs, and and that's collectively we got punished for it. So, any chance you try to take on too much responsibility, knowing that uh, your that your normal partner at the center back position wasn't there i think i did i was i was supposed to be the leader you know and uh not being able to get results put a lot of pressure on me uh, on my shoulders because i felt like i wasn't being the leader that i needed to be uh on the back line and and that was i sure. mean hurting my play really 
Well, and I think I think uh, collectively everybody can probably raise their hand there. Yeah. And they could have done better. Not even the back four, but team, the yeah. entire team. Yeah. What makes you and Omar such a great team? Obviously, you guys have been together even through college. So, what what do you think that is? Is it just longevity, or or really an instinct situation? I think we know each other so yeah. well uh, on and off the field. Live with them for four years, so uh, it's easy to communicate, and that's the the most important thing is communicating. Um, he knows where I'm going to be. I know where he's going to be. We know we're going to be covering each other, so uh, we know we can go hard into a, a challenge. If if we get beat, then someone's there to, to back us up. Uh, but I think we've been together now seven years. Um, that's a long time. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do when we lose each other one day. So uh. <laughs> Is there a, a certain role you play when Omar is next to you and, and vice versa? I mean, he wins all the headers. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I would hope so. And I pick up uh, whatever he, he can't head away. <laughs> uh, no, but sometimes we switch on corners when there's there's big guys who – they try to target. He'll would just kind of switch positions for for a second and and let him challenge for those. But nothing, nothing out of the ordinary that I wouldn't do with another center back. So, well, well, so far so good in the early games since you guys have been all back together. And and I, I guess from the fan standpoint, it seems like there's a, a sigh of relief coming from the stands. And and hopefully that's a uh, a positive for you guys on the field. You know, going forward at yeah. this point. Thursday night, though, a new chapter this season. It gets underway with the Champions League. And, and in the spring, we had high hopes for the Galaxy. You had Toronto, and I think it's fair to say, looking at that game, at that series, that was a series that he, league-wide thought the Galaxy was going to go forward. And, and maybe maybe players, you guys felt the same way. Mm-hmm. Didn't happen that way. It might have been an eye-opener early on, but Toronto moves on. And, and if anything... Uh, do you learn anything from from that situation and apply it towards this version of the Champions League, or is, or is that just something all new? Uh, I think they're two totally different, um, you know, mm-hmm. chapters. Uh, like I said earlier in the year, we we struggled uh, defensively and offensively. Yeah. Um, we had chances to where we could go up early in the game. We didn't finish those, and then other teams would come back down and score on us early, and then we we're chasing the game for. 80, 70 minutes, uh, and, yeah. and teams would just pack it in, and we just couldn't find the back of the net. And there was times where you guys went up uh, and, and late in the game, and unfortunately you couldn't finish. So there was a there was a lot going on in that yeah. first half of the season for you guys. A whole a whole bunch of different scenarios. <laughs> yeah, and it seemed like you'd fix one thing, or at least it looked like you fixed one thing, and then something else would happen that would be kind of a shocker. Yeah, you know, uncharacteristic. Mm-hmm. I think it's fair to say. MLS, though, you guys continue to climb up the Western Conference after getting through what you have to get through. Uh, currently fourth place right now, tied with Vancouver. Columbus could have been a setback, but looking at the results over the weekend, you guys are still in pretty good place in the standings, and now you're at home for a while. Yeah, I think we have four MLS home games. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, Dallas and Vancouver, who are right on our heels. If we can kind of separate ourselves and keep reaching the top, uh, you know that's that's our goal we have four these next four games are crucial um we have must win games uh for conquer cap and the league games and what type of pressure is that because normally i think last season uh at this point you felt pretty good about where you were going to be uh supporter shield was within your, your grasp right. at this point and yeah. and the season had really gone well and defensively you guys were just a juggernaut uh not allowing any goals for that matter this time around it's a bit different you're in a little dogfight all the way down the stretch, and, and you know, hopefully the playoffs show themselves, and, and you're going to have to continue that throughout. Have you guys had a chance to think about that? Or I know this team looks at it on a game-by-game basis. So uh, I think it's kind of good that we're in a fight. It, it keeps us hungry and, and in, in form. Uh, we can't take our foot off the pedal right now. Uh, I think last year we, we could have. Uh, I think we're going to put the best team out possible for every single game we have left uh, this year. So. Let's talk a bit about the importance. You talked about the importance of the games you have at home and MLS play, but the importance of taking care of business beginning Thursday night at 7 o'clock against the club from El Salvador, Isidro Metapan. Um, the talk is win your games at home and, and you'll be fine. Yeah, I think that's been the talk for, I think you see it every year. Yeah. Uh, last year we were able to do that. And then you want to get a win or two um, away from home. But uh, with only two away games this year, you're hoping for one, and I think nine points will probably get you in kind of take care of business and, yeah. and move on from there and and obviously you know what now what it takes to get over the hump and move on even forward so i think as it gets towards that second side into the new year you guys are eyeing that down as well yeah aj thank you very much the galaxy have a busy week this week thursday night 
Champions League opener against uh, Isidro Metapon. We talked about that Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock against FC Dallas, an MLS game that's very important. Dallas looking good right now as they got the road win at RSL over the weekend. Tickets are available at LAGalaxy.com or by calling 877-3-GALAXY. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. For AJ De La Garza, Joe Tutino saying thank you for making Galaxy All Access part of your day.